Hello everyone, in this short demo I would like to show you how GuideMe can prepare a dual scan case easily and quickly. By dual scan, we mean that the patient is CT scanned wearing a radiographic guide, and then the guide itself is scanned. In the case preparation, we will register the two scans, segment the bone structure, create a radiographic model, and then track the nerve channels. In order to start a case, all we need to do is to browse to the DICOM file folder and select any file in the DICOM series. So the patient scan is now loaded. GuideMia has three 2D cross-section views and two 3D views as well as a task panel here. The workflow task panel has tabs including data preparation, implant placement, diagnosis notes, object manager, surgical guide design, and a treatment plan export. Once the patient data is loaded, you can adjust the thresholding in the 2D slices to inspect the patient scan and 3D rendering. You can change the display to color mode bone quality mode, and you can clip the model as well. In a production environment, however, we want to move to the next step right away. For this case, the second step I want is to load the radiographic guide. Here's how I do it. Select the DICOM file. Okay, now three things are happening. We're loading the DICOM file, we're creating the radiographic guide model, and this is all registering with the patient scan. And all of this is, of course, automatic. The system also tells you how much deviations the scans have. Please note, the automatic registration can very well take care of the x-ray scatters in this case. Next, we want to segment the bone structure. We adjust the region of interest, the thresholds, and add a seed point. For this case, we also want to perform an automatic scatter removal. All we need to do is click on this button. We also have a manual tool to remove scatters. Now the bone segmentation is done. In the data preparation panel, there are tabs for registration and virtual tissue model, which we will demo in some other more advanced sessions. Then we want to track the nerve channels. First we adjust the arch curve by moving the curve or the handles. You can also, of course, add or delete handles. Okay. Now we enter the channel tool. We scroll the slice view and identify the entry point. Now we start placing points. Then we change slices and we add more points. We'll be doing the same thing for the right channel. After this, we can change the transparency of the bone model so you can see the nerves inside the bone structure. Now, I save the project. And this concludes our data preparation for this case.